Welcome to top 10 SBC use cases. Let's move on to number two use case. This is the SMB access. And this is a pretty popular use case for Pro SBC. Here we got a service provider here on the right. who has got a, some kind of soft switch or an IPPBX platform, maybe with a registrar, maybe a billing system, some other systems inside their cloud infrastructure. And then we're able to provide telephone services to an SMB or a small, you know, to an enterprise or a small business. And of course they have challenges of NAT traversal, right? So that small, uh, IED or router I'm just going to use network address translation to provide IP addresses to the IP phones and the session border controller needs to pass through that NAT transition and keep the uh, firewall ports open on that SMB enterprise. So one of the key things that Pro SBC is responsible for is managing that NAT traversal. Also registration forwarding. As registrations come from those individual IP phones, it needs to forward them over to registrar. Session capacity is important because obviously they have more than one SMB or more than one enterprise aiming hopefully for thousands of them. Performance is important, delivering voice and traffic through at a high rate, and of course having analytics and connectors for management to be able to provision and manage the setup between the SMBs is important. So that's the abstract use case. An example is Vital PBX are actually one of our early case study customers. They built an asterisk based IP PBX platform that can be hosted and they started with free SBC and have since uh, migrated over to pro SBC, providing an interface between that hosted IP PBX and the remote office workers. And the idea being is an enterprise or business would have a Vital PBX server in their data center and they would have remote offices, retail stores or work at home or whatever it might be. They have to traverse the NAT to get to the remotes. They fiddle around with using VPN, like a lot of open source and smaller systems, you know, in the beginning, one or two seems to work. Feedback, if I recall correctly, was, you know, VPN just doesn't scale. You know, they really needed a session border control to manage these remote offices and to do that NAT traversal and provide security. When they set up their first couple of pilot systems, they noted that one of the SIP vicious scanners found them almost immediately and they were really really concerned about you know having these SIP scanners probing their network you know they found the session border controller really really helpful in, in blocking those port scanners and provided them improved security it's an interesting story on one of many there's lots of resources on our on the free SBC pro SBC website we have written versions of the case studies on the case study page and we've got um, just some abstract descriptions of the use cases uh, very brief um, summaries of the use cases on the on the use case pull down at the top of the website and of course the the library on youtube has all of the not only the use cases and customer case studies but we got these um, training modules the recorded webinars we got some how-to tutorials that show how to configure and manage it a handful of customer interviews on there I also have some frequently asked questions some um, recorded podcasts and as much much more and again i you know highly encourage you to um, check out some of that now but um you know subscribe to it every time we finish up one of these webinars for example we post a recording of the event and then you can be notified of the recording being posted yeah.